guys welcome back to my channel um i hope you're all having a lovely week um if you didn't know by now every tuesday on my instagram i share some kind of progress photo or a video sharing my weight loss journey um so in this week's video i wanted to give you a bit more of an update on how i'm getting on with my fitness and my training equally how i'm getting on with coming off my antidepressants at the same time and just in general how i'm getting on so if you want to see some progress pictures and, and kind of hear me talk through my progress at the moment, then keep watching. So just to recap, um, I've changed my training program recently. So I was most recently doing Jelly Devotee's plan, which was great. Um, I did see good results. But for me, um, I felt that the kind of training that works for me is weight training four to five times a week um, and trying to do about 10,000 steps a day. Um, and I've also got to the point where, because I've lost most of my weight, um, I've lost 10, 20 kilograms um, in the last three or four years. So I went from 11 stone 5 and I'm now 8 stone 5. Um, but you kind of get to a point where everything is very kind of consistent and stable. Um, so it's when you get to that point where you're at your target weight, um, you know what you're doing, you know like, you know like your body's looking great it's how you keep your body in shock how you keep your body like growing and changing and just basically seeing like how much more you can improve without kind of altering your weight too much um so i've been doing kim french 87's full body plan now for i think about a month I actually no it's six weeks because I'm on my second round of, of the four week plan now um, for me one of the things I really like about it is the fact that I can have a life which sounds really bad but I've done workouts before or I've done kind of I've done kind of the style of training that really makes your body like exhausted like at one point a couple of years ago I was doing cardio I was like there's nothing wrong with this but at the end of the day, I also want to have a life. I've got a busy job, nine to five, working in complaints. Um, and look, I want to do other things. Like, I want to be able to go out with my friends for a drink. I want to be able to have cheat meals. So it was kind of all about finding balance for me at the moment and making also sure that I'm not exhausting myself. Um, so what I'm going to insert now is I'm going to insert a clip of how I was looking at the beginning of February. And then moving forward, this is how I'm looking at the moment after six weeks of Kim French 87's training. So yeah, um, that's how I'm looking at the moment. Um, the one thing that is really exciting me about the workout plan by Kim French is that I am seeing changes. Um, as I said, when you get about two to three years into training, it really takes like a lot or like a tweak in the way you train to really change your body. Um, and for me, I like I like to feel like I've got an hourglass shape. So I like my waist to be nice and cinched in. I like my and my butt. So I tend to focus. I'm not like massively obsessed over getting a massive bum, but I, I'm really focused on getting like a bubble butt. So a nice plump round butt um and what i've been really finding the, the biggest thing that's really helpful for me is with her workouts you get videos of each clip and she also has like a written commentary of each workout and her like giving those sort of visual mental cues and things to focus on when it comes to feet position leg position um you know do your toes need to point outwards when you're doing a certain kind of squat um, when you do bicep curls, where should you put your arms? Because I work out at home, like I wouldn't necessarily know these things. Um, so for me, one area that's really looking different from my previous photos is like my underbutt area. Um, the biggest thing that I've learned is that whenever I was doing um, Romanian deadlifts or straight leg deadlifts, I wasn't putting the focus on the right part of my leg so the way she sort of explained it is that you need to imagine like your hips and your pelvis are being pushed back um so that has massively helped me being able to visualize imagining that i'm basically pushing my pelvis back um because i think from what i was doing before i was basically using kind of leaning using more of my back and also like not focusing on my hips I was focusing more on like my hamstrings, which is probably why I then wasn't getting that kind of nice separation between my booty um, and my hamstrings. So that for me has been a bit of a game changer because I'm starting to to gradually see um, 
that nice bit of bit of like separation and the lift which is great um i always enjoy the workout so i did a leg workout today it's saturday i'm filming this um and i really enjoy it i never feel like oh god i've got to do a workout um i feel excited i can put my music on i can enjoy it um and, it, and it's just a lot of fun which is basically what i was needing at the moment um diet wise i as i said i like to feel balanced i feel like i have to have a healthy relationship with food or else i'll go insane so i allow myself one to two cheat meals a week um i'm gonna be honest i was out thursday night so i did have a few ciders um i did have a chippy um and yeah i do have the occasional treat but I, i'm not hard on myself anymore about it like if i want to have a treat i'll make sure that i do um, I still follow like a combination of my fitness pal macro calculating and slimming world um, and I've kind of again got to the stage now where I can I can you know if I don't buy lunch for that day I can go to the shop buy something and I, I've got the gist of knowing like how much like carbs and what kind of meals I can have as a go-to that are really good for me so I've been really enjoying that um, I'm about three to four weeks into coming off one of my antidepressants um, I did have a bit of a panic attack a couple of nights ago, which was mainly based on like some comments and stuff that were said to me. But I feel like I'm over the the worst bit of it at the moment. Like, um, I, I feel like I feel happier generally. Um, I do still have like the occasional mood swing where I feel sad or depressed. But part more more importantly, I feel less exhausted. Um, and I feel more confident. I feel like I can be more open with people and yeah, I just, I just feel a lot better. Um, so yeah, that is how I'm doing at the moment. I'm eight stone five. Um, and the good thing at the moment is I'm just kind of consistently there. I'm not wobbling. I'm not going up. I'm not going down. Like I've just got to that point where everything's stable. But again, um, I always want to challenge myself. So I'll let you know how I'm getting on in a couple of weeks time. Um, so yeah, that was just a little check in, um, along with my, instagram if you want to follow me on instagram it's at chronicles of hannah i post on there six times a week um and every tuesday i obviously do like a fitness related post so go check that out if you want to see some more um if you did enjoy these videos please like and subscribe and i'll see you in my next video bye guys